Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I want to quickly go over a new plan that I've implemented that has helped a lot with easing some of the pressure on my shoulders for handling multiple performance accounts. Before and even to this day, you know, I struggle with the ideology and the actual maintenance of handling multiple performance accounts. I feel so much pressure on my shoulders. I feel the stress and overwhelmness of it. I get hesitant with my trades. I'm fearful. I miss opportunities. You know, you name it, I've probably felt it when it came to this. So I really had to sit down and confront a lot of these issues and this plan that I've created tackles each of those issues straight on. And since I've implemented it, I felt a lot better. So before we get into the actual plan itself, I want to show you my proof. I do have five past Apex accounts. Three of them are past evals that are ready to be activated that I haven't yet. And then I have two performance accounts that I have already activated um, and we're just building them as we go. I originally had six. Unfortunately, I did lose that six one. It was before I implemented this plan, but it is what it is. It's all part of the game. But for the first criteria is to activate only one to two PAs at one time. So in this case, I've acted two, activated two of the five. And the reason why this is a criteria is because when I used to activate, for example, five at one time, that was five times the pressure for me. And I was always just overwhelmed with this idea that if I mess up on this one account, it's copied amongst the other ones. And so if I lose this one, I'll lose the other four. It was always just a scary thought and that's why I was fearful. That's why I was pressured to, to trade well. It was just a lot of things. And this number one tackles the ideology in itself. The second one is spreading my other evals all on my calendar for when I want to activate it. This helps with managing the amount of time I could be in the market. So for example, instead of having five accounts activated at one time and I lose them all at once, if that happens, now I'll have like more time because I'll have my first two activated. If I lose them, that's fine. I still have my other evals that are my backups that I can activate and I can continue trading with those. So my length in the market would be uh, much more elongated. And on top of that, it helps with my personal financial status. I mean, activating five accounts at one time is a lot of money for my journey and I can't always be upfronting that money. So being able to spread it amongst the calendar helps with my budgeting. Number three is group trading two PAs at one time and then eventually as my account portfolio and my trading consistency grows, then I will grow it to be two to four PAs group traded at one single time. Um, this helps a lot with, again, elongating my time in the market as well as just decreasing the amount of stress I have on my shoulders. Instead of five at one time, it's two, two, two until, you know, whatever the case may be. <laughs> Hope that made sense. Uh, number four was one, number four and five are actually really big pivotal changes in my perspective for how I trade and how I perceive trading overall. For base hits, I never understood the importance until recently where I see base hits as the base hits are additional income I didn't have before. So my jobs outside of trading, that is what supplements my actual personal life to support me every single day. For trading, I'm not a consistent profitable trader yet to even say that trading actually supports my lifestyle. You know, so for base hits, just like a 401k or a Roth IRA or a retirement fund in general, the more you have the compound interest grow, the bigger the account grows. And in the end, that's a bigger account for you to have when you withdraw, right? So it's the same idea. You know, a little bit every single day is a step in the right direction and you're just slowly starting to build that account. Um, and also for me, the way I see it is that if I have any additional profit amongst, or I mean above the base hits, additional profit above the base hits, then I'm able to either reinvest that back into another trade, if it's a high quality trade, and be able to maximize on more gains on the day, or I can just walk away with that extra profit on top of my base hit. And that's why you'll see my previous transactions where my accounts, I was able to capitalize on the max amount of ga uh, gains. Some, one of the days I only had $200 profit right here. So day three, I made about 200, 225. So that's why day four, you, you see the difference about 225. Um, and again, that's because I only had the base hit for that day. Number five is to not focus on the dates for requesting payouts or how many days I've completed. To focus on my trades if I did take any. Essentially, this is me to focus on the process, not the profits. So I've always struggled with focusing only on the payout destination. That's why obviously you can see on my sheet here, 
Day 10 is the required trading days in order to take a payout as one benchmark. Benchmark two is to have the safety threshold in your account to be able to get the withdrawal. And then the third one is not really a benchmark, but it's, you know, it's important to know is that the payout window for Apex is the 1st to the 5th or the 15th to the 20th. And so I would always want to make sure I had a payout or be ready for a payout by that payout window. So I was always focused on that. And so that's why number five really targets this whole concept in itself that I was struggling with. And overall, all five of these different uh, key points here for my plan has really, really helped a lot. Yes, every day can be difficult. Some days I'm not perfect. You know, I'm human. It's inevitable to make mistakes and to have losses, but I'm definitely striving to follow this to the T because this is what's going to help manage my risk more. This is what's going to keep me on track to building my account consistently and slowly but steadily. And then obviously, if I'm able to maximize, then I'll be able to maximize. So I really like this plan so far. I mean, we've done it for a little over a week now as far as trading days go. Um, tomorrow is day seven trading day on doing this plan. And again, it's been pretty effective. I might make a future video on this just to see how effective it has been since I've been doing this for over a week now. Um, but we'll see. I mean, if you guys decide to take on this plan yourself, let me know down in the comments how it's been for you and how effective it is. Or if you're already doing something similar to this, I'd love to know your feedback on it. Um, but before I do end the video, I do want to say that Apex is having an 80% off lifetime sale right now until July 31st, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you haven't signed up already and you're looking for you know, an account to trade with in futures, feel free to check out Apex. Um, they have a really big Facebook community, just really big community overall. So yeah, I, would, um, I do appreciate you if you do use my code or my link. But nonetheless, I appreciate you guys' time and support. I hope this video was helpful in some way. And also, thank you for letting me document this and just kind of following me along my journey. I wish you nothing but the best and most success in your trading journey. And I'll see you all in the next video.